affirmed versus Alidar. It was perhaps the most memorable and dramatic rivalry in racing history. One that started early in their two-year-old year and carried through the 1978 Triple Crown, forever linking their names. Heading into the Travers, Affirmed had won seven of their nine meetings. But John Veach thought his colt, Alidar, was ready to win the big one. I thought we had an excellent shot of beating Affirmed in the Travers. Uh, Alidar's race in the Whitney was, was brilliant. Running against J.O. Tobin, who was a, a cracked four-year-old, uh, he, he really demolished him. He came out of the Belmont stronger than, I, than he went into the Belmont, I thought. His race at Arlington Park against very weak competition was also a, a very brilliant effort. So we were very, very pleased. And after watching a firm run in the Jim Dandy and seeing him kind of struggle against some horses that he'd beaten convincingly early in the year, uh, I was very encouraged. Uh, and uh, Aladar came up to the race in just, just in great order. Trained well, seemed to thrive on, on the environment of Saratoga. A record crowd of 50,359 turned out in perfect weather to see the race. Made even more dramatic when a firm's regular jockey, Steve Cawthon, hurt his knee and was replaced by Lafitte Pinkai Jr. Here's Chick Anderson's call. And they're off. All the lead. Shake, shake, shake on the inside. Nasty and bold now. Affirmed is on the outside with Alidar. And they've passed the stands. Nasty and bold along the inside. Affirmed on the outside. Those two are heads apart. Alidar is a very close third on the outside. Then back along the rail. Nasty and bold. They move into the turn. The first quarter in a leisurely 24 and 1. And the leader along the inside, shake, shake, shake by just a neck. On the outside, affirmed to second, going under good restraint. Then two lengths back, now a length and a half, Ali Dar in third. And Nasty and Bold remains a very close fourth as they make their way down the back stretch. Affirmed on the outside, puts ahead in front. Shake, shake, shake. Ali Dar is along the rail, and he's moving up along the rail. And a half went at about the same. 48 seconds. The pace is still slow. Down the back stretch, Ali Dar will force the issue with Affirmed on the outside. It's Affirmed holding the lead by a head. On the inside, Ali Dar has the rail and will challenge him from that position. Then it's a gap of two. Ali Dar suddenly has dropped back very suddenly, and appears to be out of the race. Here's Nasty and Bold getting through. Ali Dar is back in stride once again. It is coming on again. On the turn, affirmed, and Ali Dar will make a run at him on the outside in second. Nasty and Bold in third, and the trailer is shake, shake, shake. Three quarters in one, 11 and three, and they're in the stretch. In the stretch, affirmed and Alidar on the outside. Affirmed on the inside, nasty and bold third down along the rail, but affirmed continues to maintain control of the pace. It's affirmed, and he has it by a length and a half. Alidar driving, can't catch him on the outside. Nasty and bold is third. Everyone knew something had happened on the far turn, and the inquiry sign was posted, with affirmed's number blinking. The tower camera on the turn shows what transpired. With Affirmed racing in front, Pinkai moved abruptly to the inside, dropping over on Alidar. This caused George Velasquez to check sharply and severely take up his mount. Alidar dropped back several lengths, and some of the onlookers, including Veach, thought he might have been injured. I, I was very concerned watching it happen because I, I was in a position where I really couldn't see my, the angle that I was looking at from, and I didn't know whether he had, he looked as if he bobbled and, and then came up, and oft times when a horse does that, he's broken his leg. Ali Dar was okay, but the original order of finish was not. A firm's number was taken down, replaced by Ali Dar. The victory was bittersweet, and it remains so for trainer John Veach. It was a win, but not a win. It, it is, even to date, to think about disappointing. It, uh, I was younger then, and, but certainly have not lost my enthusiasm. But uh, 
Alador meant so much to me. He was my first, my first love. You know, it's like your first kiss. And my first derby horse, uh, my first world-class horse, uh, particularly as a colt. And I, I was so proud of him. And it was so exciting. The Triple Crown was exciting. But the Traverse was going to be where Aladar justified himself. And uh, to have it in that way, it was bitter then and bitter now.